talking to my shorty. Oh, I'm not about to do that. Adrian and B. If I'm clapping, nigga, and I don't have my soundboard, you have to clap. I got my phone in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and a fly swatter in the other. <laughs> nigga in the sticks. <laughs> Yo, that shit will forever be funny. Right, so, now, ladies. The... <laughs> now, you say you want this trait. You want a hardworking man. But then y'all have to start complaining when he ain't home. When when he when he when he can't help with the kids as much. When he misses some games and all that. But you still want to go to fucking Dubai too. Make this shit make sense. It's called balance. That was a hard lesson to learn. It's called balance. <laughs> that was a hard lesson to learn. That's why I don't say they need to be hardworking. I say they need to be self-aware and you need to balance your life out. Because you can't, you cannot, um, um, it, is, it is great that you are one to take the lead and provide for the home, but providing for the home also means to be attentive to me and attentive to our family. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. you'll take a, you'll take a, a more, if a, like a low earner, if, if he had that balance, a qu- straight nine to five, not too much response, like a, like a school janitor. You work nine to five. You work every other week. You know, every two weekends, right? Because you got to clean up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like with that, that that'll suffice for you then. Yes, because that's part of again my love language. I feel like we need to be working as a family. You need to be attentive. You need to be able to be able to balance our lives out where our kids, where I'm nurturing our children, but you also need to be leading our children. So you do need to try to invest in being a, a coach. For the basketball team or the football team, I need we you know we need to have barbecues for the family and things like that. Yes, yeah, I, that was a hard okay. lesson to learn, but yes. Okay, okay, so you learn that through experience more so. Okay, okay, word, word, word. Sit, uh, shit, sis. She ain't talking on mute, is she, y'all? I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you. Okay, sis. <laughs> you want a hard working man and all that, but you know what comes with that? Less time, less, less uh attentiveness. You're gonna have to deal with the kids kind of by yourself a little bit more. But women always say they want that, but when they see it, what do y'all actually do with it? I I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I haven't really been in that kind of situation like that, so I can't answer that. I'm trying so hard not to kick her off because it's my sister. Wow. Isha, go. I'm pissed. Go. Hey, y'all. What up, Isha? So (laughs) I grew up with a hardworking man, my stepfather, right? And Uh there was times when he would come, like, to vacations. Like, we always took family vacations, but he would come (laughs) and only stay for, like, two days. So I can't get with that. Like, I need mean, if, if you're gonna be a hardworking man, those vacation times we need though we need to set those like this is a strict vacation. This is for us in the family. This is our bonding time. We need to stay on the schedule. It can't be oh I gotta do this. Nah, you can be hardworking, but when it comes time vacation, we are gonna take those. When it's come time for us to, for you to eat, you coming home to eat. So with boundaries, you know. But e- Isha, you know, it's not really deep, right? But entrepreneurs can only stay two days. Right. And he is. My stepfather has his own business. That's what I'm saying. But we hear that. We want a man got his own business. Remember that Heffa said, as long as he owned the bus. Remember? Right. That's what she said. But I didn't say that. I want my <laughs> man to have like benefits. I want him to have paid days off. Yeah. I want those kind of things. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So you, so you would take. A, le- a little bit less of an income just for that balance and all that. Right, because I work too. Like, I'm not putting it all on his shoulders. I bring in a pretty decent income as well. Hmm. What benefits? Yes, I can even put him up there. You know, you need dental. You know, I got a good family plan. What's good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Love, what you think? Like I said initially, it's all about balance. Um, and so what may work for one may not work for the other, but I think having a dedicated time, cause quality time, like I said yesterday is one of my love languages, having dedicated time specifically for family, 
or for me, you know, if it's just us, um, is very important. And so you have to carve out that time. And if I agree, Mike Brown, $2 super chat. Thank you. Vacation costs money. Exactly. So vacations do cost money. And so we can make a compromise. I wouldn't mind a compromise. You work, you know, up until this certain point or whatever you work. And then but just know we're planning this vacation June 15th to June 22nd or 25th, whatever. But those that's our set vacation time. And I want to dedicate it to us. Even with entrepreneur, we got to come up with a plan then because you need to have a second man in charge. I know business second man in charge sit there and, and, and let, you know, them handle the business. If you're an entrepreneur, if you work a nine to five or really, you know, a nine to nine, fine. That company will go on without you because you have this dedicated time. It's about enacting boundaries and sticking to them. So balance and quality of life is very important. You can't work yourself to death because I won't be able to enjoy your company anyway. So what's the difference? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. It helps the channel the most. Damn, yo. That's the first. Matter. Everybody show some love, man. That is the first time in show history the ladies were much more concise, on point, understanding than the fellas. Good God almighty, man. They've been learning, boy. Hey, hey, Mr. White, you see them? They learning like a motherfucker. <laughs> yo, yo, hey, and the two newest people up top, right, uh, Asia on the sides of Asia, was <laughs> backpedaling and hopping back. <laughs> hey, Q, you had him on a road, baby girl. God damn. <laughs> no purpose, and not even on purpose. But I want to, I want to, that was light work. She said that was easy. That was light work. But I want to chime in on this topic too. Like, um, and I've heard that a lot. Uh, that you know, women want a guy to be home most of the time or to help out and do all these other things. But then to your point, they want to take these trips, go to Dubai and get all this other stuff going. And it's like, I don't think that. So I guess my question to the ladies, because I'm really I'm I'm learning on that end because I'm usually in that role of being the person who got like eight jobs. Like, so what how do you how do you find that balance? Because it's like to me, that was part of the reason or that I had um, some issues in my divorce, too, was just not being home enough to help out. But it's like, but you don't got to leave the house, go to school or something, get a trade. You know, take make sure everything is always taken care of, cleaning this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you want to take all these trips, you want to do all these things, you want to have a car that's taking, uh, you know, paid for and all this shit. That shit come with sacrifices. That sometimes the woman is not willing to make. Y'all different because y'all working shit. I fuck with it. So how do you find that balance that y'all speak of? So again, so for your example, you work a lot of jobs. You gonna say something here? No, go ahead. Oh, you, like you said, Q, you got eight jobs. Okay, so you can part of those jobs you can schedule or say, yeah, I can be on. I can do this show. For example, you said you get the show on twenty first. So you can schedule around your schedule, right? I think what you kind of said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Your ex wife didn't work. Or she did like, or she didn't leave the house. You said, what was it? Yeah, post post the pregnancy with with our son. So she didn't work for like. Thank God I skipped alimony. My God, but yeah, she didn't work for like two years. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think and then part after of that, that, she was in between jobs, so she would pick mm -hmm. stuff up. But it wasn't like her income was like, oh my gosh, we're not gonna be able to survive if you don't work. You know, you realize, you know, when you don't work as much, you working is magnified. The other person's work is magnified. We don't work as much. If I'm sitting at home all day, um, even if I work from home, if you're out of the house working, it is your time out the house is magnified like hell. And I'm going to feel mm. it even more because I'm sitting in this house. Damn, that's and if I'm not working, it's even worse. Yeah. So because now I don't want to I don't mean to be crass, but you're the entertainment like you are my company. And so that was exa that exasperated the issue about you working so much, so much. You know? So basically, she was never gonna go to Dubai, but Miss Nay gonna make her way to Dubai with me. 
I got you. Yeah, she go. Oh, Nay going to Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Nay going. <laughs> Nay will walk to Dubai. No one Nay. Yo, Asia, <laughs> I don't want to say. They, I, I was gonna say something, but that point, I just, I never thought of that. Yeah. So that, like, if they, to your point, if they, like if your if your shorty's working eight hours like you are. Fuck the point of you've been fucking up. All that. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing though. Just making the point. Like, hey, we already said it. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Adrian, get him, man. Get his ass, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hey, chief, we are gonna come back in a little bit, but I just wanna, cause that was a hell of a point, 